Hello people, this is Brad from Wave, and uh, today as you can see we're going to take a look at the S&P. Uh, one thing we're going to do today is start from the monthly, as you can see. So we're going to go over some of the, let's call the long-term accounts that I see are possible. And uh, yeah, unlike, I figure it was about time to go over again um, those long-term accounts. As I don't do it, uh, it you know, if, you, if you've been following the channel, if you're a subscriber, you know that I usually tend to only focus on the intraday um, and then I just update the long-term count once in a while here on the channel. Now, um, I don't know why all of this is not showing, uh, I mean, it's showing off, uh, but uh, before we get started, uh, I did post the video about uh, tech stocks yesterday, so I'll, I'll leave you the link to it, uh, which will pop up on the top right of the screen right now, if you're going to go check that out, and um, I also briefly went over the NASDAQ in that video. Now, why do you see a blue line? Well, that is when the S&P was established, 57. So from there, we got potential one, two, three, four, five. Now, all accounts I have for the long term, so this one, which mean, uh, suggests we are in this way five, and uh, uh, let's see, it should be this one, which is very similar, however, as you can see here, this, in this one, I'm saying wave five, we are in wave in primary five of cycle five. In this one, sorry, not that one, obviously. In this one, which, okay, let me get rid of a few counts, so I mean, a few waves. In this one, I'm saying no. Yeah, I mean, I'm saying yes, we are in wave five of five. But we are also in, you know, three of five of five. So what does it mean? It means that this one is more bullish, the other one is more bearish. Now, which one should we uh, consider? Which one should we trade? Um, to be fair, I would. I'd rather. I mean, I probably stick to this. Um, it's also possible we have some sort. I mean, still a wait for in place here, and we have a. Um, I don't know if it. Nope. Yeah, this is possible. One, two here. So one, two, three, four, five within wave five. So within primary five. Uh, sorry, cycle five. Or else, uh, it's also possible there's a case for one, two, one, two, and then upside. So because of the history of the indices, um, I would be more bullish than bearish. What I mean by that is I, I've been more aggressive to the upside than conservative because it's a stock market. It would, you know, history has shown us that if you want to be bearish one day or the other, you'll be proven wrong. If you know, back 57, the S&P was 50, $75 here. Look, look at the time of, type of gains you had, right? So, I mean, you could have a case, uh, you know, 6,000% over, what, uh, 50 years. It's never going to happen again. But just like it happened, it could happen once again. So we don't know. We, we need to accept the fact we don't know. Um, but we also need to accept the fact that these markets, um, because of their nature, they're, they, you know, they tend to move higher um, rather than lower over the long term. Now. That being said, I'm going to take you to the, so I'm going to leave this one and I'm going to take you straight to the daily. So here on the daily, as you can see, I'm saying, okay, so we might have a one, two, three, four, five. Wave two could be, seems to be in place. And we can and we could be now looking for their upside. Now I would believe and it looks like I'm wrong. Just give me a second. Okay. So. Okay. I'm just figuring out the. Okay. So that's the alternate. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. We just completed way four. Which one is it going to be? I'm. 
there's goods and bads about this, both counts. And, you know, oh, which one was it? Nope, nope, yep. So this one, you got alternation between th four and two. And then here, you, you could argue have a very shallow wave too. And the other one, you could argue, could this wave four be a bit uh, short compared to this wave two? Yes. Uh, but at the end of the day here, you have a sideways two and a sharp four. So that's also true. And uh, which one is it? I don't know. What we could do is, um, I'm going to take you into the intraday. It looks like we, we are close to a top. And at that point, I don't know what just happened. At that point, we we'll, we may realize, depending on how the degree of descent. So I'm I'm expecting this. I'll show you the count in just a second. Depending on the degree of descent, we can understand. We can try to identify if we are in a wave. We we were in wave five, so meaning that we're going to retrace something like this and then eventually continue higher, or if the uh, retracement. Sorry. Nope. Oh God. If the retracement is going to be shallower and then continue higher at that point, we might have been in this count. So time will tell. Uh, what can we do to help us? We can work with the numbers. Uh, the next important number is 5800. And uh, we can work with volume, which is uh, not available on the cash market. You can look at volume on the futures market. Now, and we all can also take a look at stocks, which is why I cover the tech stocks um, every week. So, so that being said, I would just go straight into the short term count. And as you can see here, with this count, I'm saying, look, wait, let me just take you to the hourly. With this count, I'm saying, look, see, that's what dream you like to do. Um, they like to move my waves. Very annoying. Um, so this is basically saying, look, we could be in a wave one, two of intermediate three, right? That's what I'm saying here. Is that possible? Yes. Or else everything needs to be moved. Um, I mean, or else forget about this. Forget about this. Let's bring on this. We are in wave five of five, and then we're going to go back down deep, potentially back um, at 5,000. Once again, which one is going to happen? I have no clue. I have no idea. What I think might happen is this looks to me, and the NASDAQ seems to be confirming it, and though the NASDAQ has been um, less aggressive uh, when it comes to come back a higher towards all time high. I see uh, I see one, two, three, four. Hence I'm missing a five. And there's a case there's a case for wave four being here. However, there's also a case we had a one, two, we're not continuing higher, where? Towards fifty eight hundred. That's where I want wanted to get. If we take off of $5,650, the next logical target is 5800 So long story short, that's what I'm waiting for the short term. I'm, waiting, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing for their upside up until 5800 Long term, I don't know if this is going to complete a wave 5 and we're going to go back down to at least 5000 or I don't know if that's going to complete a wave one of three pull back and then let's take higher we're gonna find out uh, we might even start to realize it uh, early, you know late next week it's possible but that's what I see as usual none of this is was or will be financial advice if you have any questions uh, just let me know down in the comments and if you enjoy the content I'd highly appreciate it if you subscribe as well if you leave a like thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one